What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video we're going to be getting into uh, what I was talking about in the last video which we are going to be supercharging my buddy's uh, GTO that we just ran. And if you haven't watched that video I'm going to link a card up here in the corner that way you can go watch it. Go watch that video. It's definitely a good video. Doing some fun runs in Mexico. But let's get up here to the shop. I don't know if Ryan's already there but uh, we already sort of started a little bit on his car. Hadn't got too in depth with it but We'll see you once we get to the shop. We made it up to the shop and we're actually currently working on the car now. We got Ryan over here. He's trying to do a little bit of building. He's not very good at it, but he's getting there. I'm training him. Probably the most difficult thing on this build is probably actually gonna be the, uh, we gotta drill the crankshaft, but it comes with a tool that bolts on and it has holes that lines it up. So it should be fairly easy. Um, I've never drilled a crankshaft before, but it gives you step-by-step -steps instructions. And like I say, it's got a, adapter piece for it so it should be pretty easy but well, we already got the car pretty much the front of it tore down where we can get in there and drill like we need to and be able to see good so but we pretty much started on it yesterday i didn't film anything but we didn't get much off and all i'm gonna do pretty much through this is it's not gonna be a how-to or anything i'm just gonna pretty much pick you guys up you know along the way because a how-to video would just take forever yeah we're gonna get to work and we'll pick you up like i said along the way like i said in the last video we are doing a torque storm supercharger and look at how pretty this thing is big boy and we or we ryan had the smallest pulley put on it because he needs the most power he can to try to keep up with a mustang that pulley it says 10 to 15 or something like that but I don't know. We'll see. I think whenever he was talking on the phone with the guy that day, it was like 11 to 12 was the average that everybody was. Okay, 11 yeah, to 12 pounds of boost. Maybe. But yeah, this is the smallest pulley they offer, uh, which is a 3.1. And it's an 8 rib system. This thing's pretty sweet. And Torque Storm's got pretty good deals on their uh, superchargers. And the reviews and stuff so far haven't been too bad from what we've seen. So, like I say, we're excited to get this thing running on some boost. Then maybe we can take and go make some runs again. And then I'll still hurt his feelings. Now I got a question. If you put this on and I still beat you. I'm selling my car. Okay, listen, I was a, about to say we gotta make I'm a, a buy, bet. I'm gonna buy a McLaren. A McLaren. And then, <laughs> and then you can run me. You better sell your wife to like some Russian rich man Look, or something. I already have her on sale on Craigslist. So if any of your followers want to buy a wife. What, what's the going price though? What's, what's starting price? 50 cent. <laughs> 50 cent. Pretty good. She cooks a little bit. I'm gonna give her, I'm Sometimes gonna give she her cleans the house. Prop. Sometimes she cleans the house a little bit. <laughs> maybe does the laundry twice a month. Yeah, she's a keeper. I'll give you 75 cents for her if she'll just come wash my dishes. And she can go back home every day. No, it's not the deal. <laughs> oh, she, you, don't, you don't want her back home. No. Okay. So we're going to show you pretty much everything this kit comes with. Uh, this is the actual uh, adapter piece that you used to drill the crank for the pins for the uh, aftermarket pulley system and like I say you got that little piece there you bolt it to the crank and you drill uh, drill the pinholes so it sends you a drill bit and you just drill them I think it's like 850 thousandths deep or something nothing crazy crank adapter there all your bolts and hardware uh, new eight rib belt I told him we may switch to a green a green stripe belt because a little bit more heavy duty than this one of course all your bracketry supercharger bracket there this is actually the old bracket he took and sent his uh supercharger in to get a new pulley installed because it keeps the warranty if torque storm actually installs a new pulley elbows here uh some little bit of intercooler stuff that's probably for your actual intake side and then of course your lower pulley got an air filter and it's got a blow off valve right there but yeah we're ready to hear this thing it should sound really good We've heard a bunch of videos and this blow off valve makes them sound pretty mean. All right, so here's the most difficult part of this job, I think guys, would be the uh, the little, where you gotta drill into the crankshaft to pin it for the supercharger pulley. They send you a little tool. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's a little tool with two holes in it and uh, it lines it up perfectly. Um, it, and the drill bit they actually send is pretty good. Uh, it's drilling really, really easy so far, knock on wood, um, but, I've uh, been using some just some oil to keep the drill bit oiled down and I'm not trying to get it too hot because if you get the drill bit hot, it dulls it out really quick. So just drill it slow. If you're going to be doing this to a GTO or any kind of torque storm supercharger kit, take your time and just make sure you do it right. All 
I got the hands of a surgeon, boys. Superman. Me too. <laughs> we got it drilled out. As you can see, the two holes are out there on the east side of the crank. And it actually was pretty simple. The drill bit that they send is actually pretty good. Um, there were some people online in forums and stuff saying to get a better drill bit, but it, it was literally, it just drilled right through it. But yeah, now all we got to do is stick our, stick our short pins in there and put the other adapter piece on it and keep going from there. All right, so we got some stuff on. Uh, we actually made a little bit of a mistake and it was my mistake actually. Uh, I didn't read the instructions like I should, but I actually was supposed to, on the crankshaft pulley down there, was supposed to take and leave the short pins out. That was for a different style balancer. It was for the ATI balancer instead of a uh, stock balancer. But we got it fixed, got the other pins out, got the longer pins back in for the uh, supercharger hub down here for the crank. We also got the backside brackets uh, bolted up to the head and sort of cleaned up behind here to just do it. I mean, you can't see anything back there, but it's, I don't like having oil and grease and then bolting something on. But we're making progress on this. Uh, it's not been too difficult of a install. It's pretty much just self-explanatory. They give you really detailed instructions. But we're gonna keep going with this thing, see if we can't get more stuff put on. Uh, I think the next things to do is probably put the other supercharger bracket on and get the power steering and stuff done and maybe even put the new line on. His line, I don't know, his line may work because it is a steel brake, but we'll see. We'll see if we can. If not, we got another line that well, they sent that f is supposed to be for the kit. We should make guesses now. I'm on. I'm gonna say it's gonna make I'm saying six, six, 645 horsepower and 652 torques on record. I'm going higher than y'all. What are you going? I'm gonna go 660. 660 horsepower. What torque? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say around the same, give or take about five, so so maybe about 665, 670. All right. Around in there. What you got, Drake? Uh, I'm gonna say. Don't freeze. You're just on camera. Nah, I'm gonna say <laughs> 630 horsepower 630. and 10, 615 torque. And it should be somewhere in that range, so. But like I said, we're gonna keep going with this and we'll pick you up in a minute. So right here we have the new uh, power steering pump. This is actually, I think, a Gen 5 Chevy Camaro pump that they send with it. And this is the pre-made line they have. We decided to go with the pre-made line. He did have a steel braid line, which we took off, um, but we just decided that this would fit better since it's already made for it anyway. But yeah, let's get this thing installed, see if we can't get it hooked up. Anyways guys, so we've pretty much got a lot of stuff put together. As you can tell, we got all the accessories and stuff on, the belts and stuff on. Uh, now what we gotta do, we actually gotta extend some wires. It didn't actually say you had to do this on the instructions, but it did say you'd have to extend the AC wire, but I don't see why because it's literally not in the way. But anyway, I'm extending the camshaft, position sensor wire, and there's another one. Which one? Mass airflow. And the mass airflow. We're gonna have to extend it as well. But luckily it's not too hard, just cut and splice some wires together and be pretty much ready to go. All right, so right now guys, we're pretty much just mocking everything up because we still gotta, like I said, we still gotta clock this uh, inlet, or that is actually an outlet. 
uh, clock the outlet to where we need to go, which is probably going to be straight down, and then we'll have a 90 off of it and come this way. And we might have to remove, or not really remove, but redo the coolant reservoir, maybe relocate it or something for the intercooler piping. But yeah, everything fits pretty well. Uh, it looks pretty straight. The only thing we is a little bit crooked is the power steering. But I know you can't really see that very good, but the power steering pump pulley is a little far forward. It's not terrible. I don't think it's going to cause any issues. Now put the pump as far back as you possibly could. Actually a little farther back than it needed to be. I don't remember how much he's total got in this. I think it's like around four grand I think he's got in the total kit. That's with adding uh, actually the new uh, bracket, the power steering pump, the the line kit, and a bunch of other stuff he actually added to it uh, to get this side or the bracketry for this side because he had the old school like the gen 1 style which puts the uh, supercharger over here and you got to relocate the battery and stuff but whenever he sent the supercharger back to get the smaller pulley put on they told him that they recommend him to get this because it's just a little bit better the brackets a little stronger the tensioner is a little bit stronger and just it's overall easier to install so he went with that which I would have did myself because the other one was gonna be a pretty difficult install and this one like I say we're almost I'd say at least around halfway done other than the fuel system. Fuel system is going to be a video in itself, but yeah, we're going to take and continue on it. Like I said, I got to keep extending these wires. That's pretty much it, and then we'll go from there and see if we can't maybe fire it up this video. If not, we'll do it in the next one. All right, so we got the camshaft wire extended and hooked up. Only had to add like two or three inches to it. Nothing crazy, uh, just enough to where it has enough room to, you know, have a little bit of play here and clear everything just fine. Still gonna have to extend this uh, mass airflow sensor wire, which isn't a big deal. I'm probably gonna have to relocate the mass airflow sensor over to here. Like I say, not a big deal at all. Just have to redo some wires, nothing nothing crazy. But with all that being said, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to smash the like button down below. But anyways, guys, if you haven't yet, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Also, turn on the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with all the videos that'll be coming out on some of the projects that we're working on, like the GTO here and, of course, Onyx, which was my Mustang for you new people to the channel. But that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.